Nice to have you with us.
This is the Eastside Comedy Club. First place I ever did stand up. I think I had a couple Coors Lights. A uh, couple? A couple. To get the uh, courage up. And then uh, I went in here, and this was the first place, 1989, July 26th. 35 years later, he has quite a lot to look back on. I love you, especially at points. Mm -hmm. Delivery man Doug Heffernan made him famous on King of Queens. <laughs> Ball cop Paul Clark made him a bankable star. You like to stick? Yeah, I've been here many, many times. <laughs> but it's still stand up, like his new special, Irregardless, on Amazon Prime. That makes him happy. You never tried to delete an app? We're gonna do the hard press on the phone, first of all. Well, the apps start shaking. And... You're crazy, Johnny, right? Yeah, it's amazing. And hopefully it's, it still continues. Well, they know somebody's gone. They know this. A high school football star, James went off to play college ball at Cortland State in upstate New York. When a back injury ended his athletic dreams, a public speaking course sparked some new ones. When he played it for laughs. So some light bulb went on for sure. That I have this capacity. I have this talent. I didn't know what it was, but I had something. I don't know how you bottle it and make money off it, but I never went back to school. He went to work honing his style. Tell you what else annoys me the size of muffins. How big are muffins going to get before we all join hands? Affable and observational. Never dirty and always with an eye on the future. I just want to lose enough weight so that my stomach doesn't jiggle when I brush my teeth. You don't work in blue. You don't. You never have. No. Because I knew it was going to prevent me from being able to get on a TV show. I want my act to be able to go and play wherever. It's like I want to build an act that people can relate to. By the mid-90s, James was big enough to bag an audition for Saturday Night Live. Like a chance to follow comedy legends like John Belushi, Bill Murray, Teddy Murphy. He fell flat on his face. It was the worst audition I've ever had in my entire because it was it was literally me in the room and they were filming and it was absolutely brutal. And I just started doing my stand-up to no laughs, but I just kept going through it. Which is where you learn all you need to know about Kevin James, living proof that no one fails. They just stopped trying. Here's what I don't understand about that story. 99 out of 100 people would curl up in the fetal position and never move again. I just bombed a Saturday Night Live audition. Not you. It was the best thing that happened to me. <laughs> Losing out on SNL meant he was free to audition and win the lead in a pilot called The King of Queens. Thanks. Making fun of my shorts again. The bet Kevin James made on himself when he left college. Be the bigger man. And paid off. It's frustrating, you know? He's so well dressed, I can't come back out of the Do you remember the moment of the phone call where you were thinking, my life has changed? Yeah, it's, you know, well, we got a call, you know, and it's like we're, we're moving up to the next level. In less than a decade, he'd gone from driving a forklift while moonlighting at Long Island Comedy Clubs to starring in a network sitcom. Just enjoy it. Enjoy who you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Too fast, perhaps, to completely trust the success. Even amidst all of this success, you were still cranking in your head, this may not last. And you're going to find me out eventually. Well, that's my whole career. I've been my whole career. You know, every, every movie you just go, there you go. If someone literally tapped me on the shoulder, God just said, hey, we know what's going on. I go, yep, where do I go? Where do I go? It's all up. All right. It was a fun run. Thank you. What are you nervous? Last week, I woke up, I asked my wife, I was like, hey, did I play rugby yesterday? <laughs> shook a can of paint for me. It wasn't even a big can. We're talking the little hogging dies styles. But at 58, married for 20 years, Kevin James would now have a hard time making the case that it's not going to last. Maybe the only doubters now is for kids. Do your kids think you're funny? 
They do at times. Are your kids lethargic? Because I, I got a slug farm at my house. I mean, they have really high takes, which kind of like stunned me a little bit. Like they really did. They were like, we get it. You're falling down in the mall cop land. It's, it's good. But we're looking for a little bit more, you know. I'm like, oh, all right. Give me my phone number. I just want to grab a drink sometime. found in Hollywood, this son of Long Island will never stray too far from his roots. Stand-up sitcoms movies. I say you're only allowed to do one for the rest of your career. What's it going to stand up? It's just me and a mic and, and I get to, to do it and there's no process through the studio or the network of saying, well, we're going to change it this way, we're trying to cast this way, and it's like, you know, I really do enjoy the process and there's going to be times where this is not going to work out the way you want and you're not going to connect with people the way you expect. And there's other times where it's like, yeah, you can still do this. This is great. But the opportunity's there to do it. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that it's all year.